Everything I say is alleged, my opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. So according to Royce Reed, Dwight Howard was the puppet master and promised to make her life a living hell, which she is going through now. She also says she feels like she's misunderstood, unheard, and unbroken, and feels like she's an ant fighting an elephant. Royce lets us know that she couldn't put the wife's name on the baby registry or the invitations. They asked her to sign an NDA and the agent even wanted her to say that the baby wasn't the wife's. Excuse me. She said she has all the phones and emails in case someone found the phones and they would be able to get into them so that her story could be told. Wow, this is crazy. Royce lets us know that an injunction was filed against her and she said they lied about the injunction. That she was under the impression that she just couldn't say his name or talk about him on the show. But we found out that this injunction required that if someone was even talking about Dwight Howard, she was supposed to leave the area. It was it's pretty much a restraining order. If you don't a junction an injunction is a temporary or permanent restraining order. Roy said the injunction was so bad that basically if you whispered the white name and she was in the vicinity, she could get arrested. It's crazy. At this point, Royce is talking. She said the White Howard is in violation of the injunction. She says she has a good attorney now and she's working through the appeals. Royce said when Mimi passed away, which I'm assuming is one of the White Howard's mother, um, um, excuse me, baby mothers, the White called crying because he wanted all of his children and the baby mothers to come together so that he can be a better father. Now, this all happened during the pandemic if you know what i mean roy said one thing he said to her that holds true is that the white said if she ever left he will make her life a living hell and um roy said she feels like he has a hit on her and she is scared to live by herself i think she said her brother is living with her now all because um she is talking more now royce feels really scared Roy said one of the reasons the injunction came about is because the white was abusive mentally and, po and possibly physically and then she was about to be on the show basketball wives so he didn't want none of that stuff to come out so they talk about royce and the white being arrested for child neglect but royce says she is the one that's having all the blame placed on her now i'm confused on the part on why they were arrested um it was something about the son being around people unsupervised um so i don't know that was unclear to me and then i want to know if this happened during the stay with dwight howard you know during the quarantine roy said her and her son escaped and she never looked back meaning they left the house because you know Dwight Howard was too controlling. This is all alleged, but um, this was according to Royce. Okay, Royce lets us know that Dwight wanted her to be a matriarch of a polygamy situation. Well, with the other woman, but she done got up out of there. She okay. said the reason her and her son left because a lot was going on in that house that night. She ain't really going into detail, but she said it was a lot going on in that house. Royce said she's going to speak her truth and not lie. Roy says she's misunderstood and feel trapped. She also said her savings is dwindling because she have to pay attorney fees. And she is now living paycheck to paycheck. So Royce gets emotional and Carlos hugs her to let her know that it will all be okay. I'm hoping it'll be okay for her too. I feel like Royce maybe felt like she had to come out and speak, you know. Or, you know, her life would be in danger. That's the feeling she gave me. And it's unfortunate, especially with you being the uh, mother of his son, which really don't make a difference. Uh, you know, D yeah, my motto is be careful when you have kids, by, especially if they have children. When you meet them, you get to see how they treat their baby mamas. I feel like she is misunderstood. And because she's so tiny and very... I don't want to say aggressive. She's not aggressive, but she's very forthright with what she say. And she say what she mean. And people don't like that. And you shouldn't have to change who you are to get your point across. So I wish her the best. The last thing I think um, he asked her what would be her all-star team. I believe she said Tammy, Evelyn, Jen. Um, she like Malaysia and Brandy herself. Um... There was one more person, but I can't remember what it was. But I would like to see her all-star basketball wives with that lineup. Shawnee, does she need to be there? Eh, I don't know. 
but anyway that's all i got like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when my next video comes out and i'll see you guys in the next video peace